Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is officially the first vlog of 2021. If you guys watched my last video, you definitely caught that I said it was the first vlog of 2020. So this is officially the first vlog of 2021. I cannot believe that I literally started out that vlog saying, it's the first vlog of 2020. And then when I edited it, I didn't even catch that. And then when I made the thumbnail, I literally wrote first vlog of 2020. So I don't know where my brain was at in that last video, but we're in 2021 now. I think I was just stuck in the year 2020. Like that's such an easy year to say. I feel like it was just referenced so much because it was such a year. Saying 2021 just sounded so weird. So I guess I just couldn't say it. This is officially the first vlog of 2021. I am here drinking my coffee this morning. I just did my Bible reading, my journaling. Riley's right here next to me. Do you want to say hello? Say hello. Oh, she looks like a little polar bear when she sits up like this. But we are just hanging out this morning. I have got kind of a busy day. I'm gonna be filming a couple reels and TikToks. Those have been really fun lately. So I wanna do one of those. I just did one for Merit Beauty. And then I've been doing a couple like get ready with me outfit of the day reels and TikToks. So I'm gonna work on one of those today. And I wanna do one for Rare Beauty because I just got in all of those like blushes and products. And then I also am gonna be going to a PR house, I guess you could call it. I'll show you guys, I'll take you with me and I'll vlog it. But basically, there is this house in Nashville that is basically a PR firm and you can utilize the house and like film in there and do podcasts and they have different rooms for like different filming and photo situations so the house should be set up pretty cool I'll bring you guys with me so you can check it out but this is the first time that I've ever really been a part of something like this like a collective or like a communal workspace it's pretty limited to how many people can be in the house at the same time because for obvious reasons but I'm really excited because they also are housing a lot of brands there as well so they have basically like a room where they have all of the brands products that they carry and you can kind of go in and check it out and I think you can pick up stuff as well and shoot it so I don't know I'll take you guys with me I don't know a ton about it but I'm gonna be going over there today to find out more and it should be a really cool like co-working space as well so I do feel like it would be really helpful if I want to get out of the house and just like go work in a different place but I am checking things off my to-do list today. I've been testing out this new planner, which it might be too late to share planners right now because it's already been the first of the year, but this is the self-care planner. If you guys watched my gift exchange with Mikkel where we sent each other our favorite things, she sent me this planner from Simple Self and I will link it down below. I don't have an affiliate or anything for them, but this is a self-care planner and basically, you fill out a lot of like self-care things like your goals and then how you envision like a really healthy balance of life and you can like write it all down and kind of visualize it out. It is a really in-depth planner, so if you don't really want to spend a lot of time in your planner, you probably wouldn't like this, but if you like writing everything out and you like being really intentional about jotting everything down, it's actually been kind of nice. What I really like about it is that there are different sections for things other than planning. So this is the layout of it, but basically you have your personal to-do for the week, your work to-do for the week, and these are just like very general. I don't have a lot on here because there's really not that much in general. I write it down in the day. And then you can track your sleep, your overall mood, and then your habits. The habits one is really, really important to me because I've been wanting to establish some habits and this gives me a really good focal point as to like checking it off and then visualizing how I've done throughout the week. So my habits that I really wanna do each week and you can change them out each week, but the ones that I have are make the bed, end work at 5 p.m., read during the day, Bible and journal in the morning, walk Riley, reach out to five brands a day, and then don't look at my phone until 9 a.m. 9 a.m. is when I try to start my work day. So those are my habits, and as you can see, you like check them off as you go. But I really like that aspect of the planner. You also do 
meals and exercise over here. So we worked out this morning. That's why my hair is up in a bun. And then we will track our food so I can see what I've been eating and how I've been feeling based on what I've been eating and how I've been working out. But it's actually been really good to kind of visualize like how much I've been sleeping, what I've been eating, if I've been exercising. And then the habits to me is really important because I have been reading a book called Atomic Habits and it's really inspired me. Riley to be working out my own habits because I just feel like when I have really good habits I just mentally feel so much more clear and more motivated and more positive And I've seen that based on how I've been eating and also if I've been working out and how much sleep I've been getting so it's been cool to track it all and then write down like or check off my mood because it's a clear Reflection of how I've been taking care of my body and my mind and then on this page you have your actual days so then you have your gratitude so you write down things that you're thankful for which is really good I like to do that because I feel like it makes me have a more positive outlook on the day if I start my day off by being like I'm really thankful for this then I just feel like my day is set up to be more grateful and to look for positive things and I kind of do that with my bible and journaling I do that every morning so I kind of write it down in there and then I'll just jot down bullet points in this but I do more in-depth journaling every morning. And then on this side, you have your whole day, so gratitude, and then on this side are your goals. So you have like a top goal, and then you have five other bullet points, and then you have a self-care goal. And I thought that with this planner that I wouldn't like only being able to write in five goals, but I've actually found that I'm more productive because if I limit myself to only five things, I don't get overwhelmed. And chances are I don't have more than five big goals. So like yesterday, my goals were to put the merit video live, to do a merit TikTok and to film a Q&A. And that's only three things, but they take up a lot of the day to film and to make a TikTok and to edit and all that stuff. And then today I've got to visit the PR house, film a vlog, which I'm doing right now. And then I wanna do an outfit of the day reel and a reel for Rare Beauty. And then Jason and I are doing date night tonight. So that's like my self care, spending time with Jason. So I feel like it actually is a pretty decent planner. I wasn't totally positive that I was gonna love it when I started filling it out because I was like, there's only five things I can put on my to-do list. And honestly, it is a really in-depth planner. But I think I've actually started to really like writing down meals, exercise, sleep, goals, and all that stuff. So I'll link it down below if you're looking for a planner. It is really nice too because you're not limited to like the actual calendar. You write in the dates. So it is a flexible calendar. So you like circle the month and then you write in the dates. So even if you start in February, you are right on track and you don't have to waste any pages. So. I started this at the beginning of the year and I'm about two weeks in now and I really like it. So that's what I've been doing this morning has been checking off my goals list or not goals list, my habits list. And I made my bed and I did my Bible and I didn't look at my phone. So, so far so good. But Jason is getting coffee with a friend right now and he'll be back in an hour and I'll need to start breakfast in an hour. But we got up so early this morning to work out. We got up at 5.50 and we worked out and I have already showered, but I didn't wash my hair. So I am on day three officially with my hair. And I've been posting about this a little bit on Instagram and I've had a lot of questions. So I thought I could maybe go into more depth in this vlog, but basically I try to wash my hair like every four days because I really like to curl it and to style it. And I don't wanna curl my hair every single day because that would apply a lot of heat. And it's also good to not wash your hair every day. So I'm on day three and I've got it up in a bun. And basically we work out every other day. So the first day that we work out, I'll go super hard, I'll sweat a lot. And that will be the day that I wash my hair. And then day two, I have gotten to the point where I don't have to use any dry shampoo day one or day two. Two. I start to use it on day three. So today's day three where I've worked out and I did a pretty chill workout today. Like I just did squats and did more like muscle building than cardio. And so I didn't sweat a lot, which is good. I was purposefully not trying to sweat a lot. And so now my hair actually still feels pretty dang clean for having worked out and having it be day three. So I will show you guys how I style it for today being day three without washing. And then tomorrow we won't work out and I 
I will just apply more dry shampoo and then by day five we'll work out and I'll wash my hair and start the process over again but I used to have to wash my hair literally every other day or almost every day in the summer and I just decided that I wanted to train my hair to not have to be washed every other day because I just feel a lot better when I style it and I feel like to make styling it worth it I've got to drag it out at least four days. So I will take you guys into the bathroom to show you guys how I kind of revive this situation. But yeah, it's up in a bun. This is how I sleep in it. Let's go get ready. Okay, so like I said, I already washed my face, but typically if I hadn't washed my face in the shower after working out, I would wash my face and then I would wash my bangs. So I don't wash my hair every day, but I do wash my bangs every single day and I blow dry them. That is the one way that they don't stay oily and I feel like they get styled every day really well. So I'm gonna wash my bangs and right now I'm just using this Kerastase shampoo. And I just use a tiny, tiny bit because I really am just washing this front part. And right now I've got it pinned up. So take out all the bobby pins, got these giant bobby pins. <laughs> And then I just take the tiniest amount of shampoo because we're just doing the bangs and I pull this hair forward. So these are my bangs right now and if I didn't style them, they would look like this, which is not cute. And I really do not like sleeping with my bangs down because I like to put skincare on and serums and creams. And then if I do all of that and I keep my bangs down when I sleep, they are so oily by the next day. So I like to sleep with them pinned up, but obviously I can't just unpin them and wear them like this. So shampoo i go like this get some water and i basically just wash this front section and really get the scalp because that's kind of where it gets oily and this is the commitment that it takes to have bangs i feel like people don't know that they are so much work they are literally so much work if you've ever considered getting bangs ask yourself if you want to wash them and style them every day some people get really lucky and they don't have to actually style them every day but i definitely do so this is it shampooed and then I just run my head under the sink to rinse it out. And it's not very glamorous, but it's what I gotta do. Okay, so after I rinse them out, I kind of towel dry them a little bit. And then I take my blow dryer and I brush them out. Okay, so after I blow dry my bangs, so that's what they look like. And now it's okay if these pieces are still a little bit wet. Now I take the rest of my hair down and I curled this on Monday. Yeah, and it is Wednesday now. So like I said, we're on to day three. And because I did that bun and I haven't touched it, it actually is doing decently well. So this is what day three looks like. And I'm gonna kind of style it a little bit with some dry shampoo and some hairspray, but I'm not gonna touch up the curls because I try to not curl it except we're on day one. All right, so brushed it through. This is what day three curls look like. Now I'm going to take my dry shampoo. This is the Batiste dry shampoo, just the original. And I'm gonna be really sparse with this. You don't want to spray a lot because you don't want your hair to really rely on dry shampoo. That's why I've been waiting till day three. And I would love to get it to a point where like, I don't even have to spray barely any on day three, but it is still kind of, I mean, it's really not that oily at all, which is crazy. So I'm going to lift the hair and just do a little bit to kind of freshen it up, but we really don't, you don't want it to feel super caked in there or your hair will not, it will just rely on the dry shampoo a lot. So I'm lifting the back here and spraying by the roots and then over here. Day four is when I really rely on dry shampoo, but day three, that's kind of all I spray, just a little bit to freshen it up from working out. And then I take my texturizing spray. This is the Kristen Ness Dry Working Texture Spray. And what I do is I spray this like that, not on the roots at all. You just want it kind of at the ends into the middle of your hair, and then I scrunch it up and this just adds so much volume and life and it just makes it look like you just styled it and nobody would ever know you're on day three so this has been my hair routine tomorrow i'll do the exact same thing dry shampoo texturizing spray and then 
Typically by Friday, it's time to wash it. And then I don't style it really on the weekends, so I won't style it Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And then I will work out Monday and I'll do it all again. So now I'm gonna apply makeup and I'm gonna actually skip blush because I wanna do my reel for that. But I'm gonna do that later in the day when the sun is actually out. It's still pretty early in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead though and do the rest of my makeup starting with my SPF. I have been using the Kylie Skin SPF lately, which is kind of funny, but I actually really like it. It is a clear cast. SPF and it feels a lot like the super goop unseen which I'm a big fan of so I really like this because I love the super goop unseen and then I'm applying SPF with my hair down typically I won't do my hair until after I do my makeup I don't really know why I started with my hair but my skin has been doing really really well I ended up posting my six month photo of using Curology and I was shocked by the difference because I didn't really notice the difference because it's been over six months and I didn't really notice the gradual change but when I went back and looked at that six month ago photo I was shook by how much my skin has improved so for makeup today I'm going to be using some of the Merit products that just launched because they are truly just so quick and easy and they really do feel like there's nothing on the skin so this is the complexion stick is what it's called it's like a little foundation stick but i just love the packaging of this and i apply this super light because i'm mostly just trying to even out skin tone but i really like the formula of this i can't remember if i posted the shade but this is the shade bisque if you're a similar shade and then this is the brush and it is just so so pretty so blending this out onto the skin and this kind of just evens everything out really nicely and it doesn't really feel like i have anything on my skin which is really nice for my bronzer i'm gonna be using the milk makeup cream bronzer in the shade baked and one of these little brushes. Also, sorry the heat is so loud. It's the price we pay. Our place gets so cold, so we've been running more heat lately. <laughs> I've been really into cream products lately because I feel like it makes the skin look so much healthier, especially in the winter. I don't really like to wear a ton of powder products because I feel like my skin is already on the drier side, even though I have pretty oily skin. The Curology products that I use make it a little bit drier. It gets rid of my acne, so. I really want to apply blush because I feel like I look so strange without blush these days. Maybe I should just apply some. Hmm, should I save it for the video? I think I'll just apply some blush actually. So I got in the mail the Rare Beauty blushes and there are five different shades and they are amazing. I am obsessed with these blushes. They are so creamy and just so pigmented. And I think I wanna do this one. This is my favorite one. This is Neely Apricot. It's this beautiful like kind of orangey tone and you can just apply it with your fingers. So put that pay out and then you just blend it into the skin like this and it almost like turns to powder in a way but it's super natural and then i'm gonna actually go in with a brush and kind of touch up my blending because i feel like whenever i blend stuff out with my finger i do it too quickly to where it's kind of messy so i want to go in and fix it with the brush but it is so pigmented and beautiful and it looks like i just put a ton on but what i'm gonna do is take this brush and i'm going to just kind of buff it out into the skin and now it looks way more natural i feel like i can't see myself without blush now i'm so like addicted to blush and then powder i seriously love the rare beauty blushes they look so natural but it just adds really good color to the skin this is the merit beauty highlight it's really pretty You're just gonna Apply it to my cheekbones, a little bit on the nose here, and then inner corners of my eyes. I feel like you guys can never really see that well in this lighting, but I'll show you guys by the window in a second. Okay, so this is the makeup, and I ended up finishing it off camera because the bathroom lighting was not doing it justice. Riley, are you ready to show them my outfit? Have you been such a good girl? I was filming an outfit of the day reel and I'm so excited to show you guys my outfit because it is so cute. Do you like mom's outfit? Yeah. Okay, so this is my outfit for the day. I have got on this thrifted Tommy Hilfiger sweater. The best thrift find ever. I will literally never part with this thing. Look at the collar on this. And then I've got on these Proenza Schuler wide leg pants. They are normally $350, but I got them for a hundred bucks and they just fit amazing. I'm pretty sure these are like 11 or 12 inch rise. They are so high-waisted. And then they have the raw hem at the bottom. So I went 
ahead and I cropped them shorter for me and I just stitched the sides so that it doesn't come unraveled. But to go with the look, I've got on these little Western booties from Lulu's and these were in my 2020 favorites video. But this is my outfit and I am, I'm just so obsessed with these pants. I think they're so, so cute. All right, I just got to Note House, which is the PR house and I parallel parked on my first try and nailed it. So I already know it's gonna be a good day. I also am a little bit early, which is really good for me because I am typically late everywhere I go. And that was one of my low key goals for this year is to be on time or early. So I'm gonna go in now, but I'm so excited to check it out. So pumped to show you guys Note House because it is one of the coolest places ever. And not only is this a co-working space, but it is also a place where you can film and rent out rooms. There's like a podcast room, a gifting room where they host a lot of brands. But you guys have to see this co-working space because it's literally the most beautiful thing ever. And I've been walking around and I've been seeing all the CBT furniture and I'm obsessed. So we're upstairs right now. This is the spiral staircase that you enter through. Look at this co-working space. There's nobody here. It's super chill. There's never like a lot of people here. So you're not fighting for a space, but they just have like the most intentional thought out design here. There's like a bar with a mini fridge and you can, you know, make coffee or get something out of the fridge. And they just have like all these different little areas that are really great for co-working. All the CB2 furniture, I die. So in this room, this is like their telephone booth room where you can like shut the door, take calls if you're doing any sort of like conference call or talking to a bird or anything like that. You can go in here. These plants, I die. They have this amazing like meeting table room. These are literally the chairs that Jason and I want to get for our house when we buy. We want to get them in white or the cream at CB2. But it's so good to see them in person because they literally live up to everything that we saw online. These are our dream chairs. And they just have really cool artwork as well. And they actually have everything tagged. So these are from Minted. Chairs are CB2. And then they have a little info card with each brand that's featured in the house. Some more CB2 furniture. We die. I mean, look at look at this color. And then they have multiple bathrooms throughout so you can change or do your makeup. All right, so this is one of the other rooms. This is their bedroom and you can shoot in here as well. They've got lights that you can move around. And then in here is this gorgeous bathroom. Look at this tile. And then also the sink is insane. I've never seen a sink this deep before. But this is the bathroom and they actually set it up pretty vertical so that you can actually shoot in this area. So lots of good spots. You guys know my bathroom is not cute, so. This is a dream. And then they have all these different mirrors with little phone hookups that you can do makeup videos with. This is one of their brands that they're carrying right now, Flamingo. And everything is just so, so beautiful. And then they also have a podcast studio where you can record your podcast. Their kitchen is so beautiful. And it is a functioning kitchen, so you can actually make your food here, which is great. But I die over this island. So, so pretty. All right, so this is the room as you enter. How beautiful are these couches? Like, what the heck? And then this fireplace, the texture on this, I literally die. It's so, so pretty and it has really good natural light. So if you wanna shoot indoors and good lighting, it's just beautiful. And they also have the biggest mirror ever. And in this room, this is the gifting room. They have a couple brands right now that they're featuring Joe's Jeans, H&M, and then they have like a bunch of stuff that you can pull if you are a member or you're part of the network where you can pay to come for a day, but you can still, you know, do their gifting closet. So they have so many cute things from H&M, like all these cute little active sets and sweaters and pants and this purple coat is amazing. And then they have, you know, dresses, more sweaters. They've got a couple new brands here that I have actually never heard of. This is a new brand and I've been eyeing these bags from them. So I might have to take one of these because they're so, so cute. I love this little baguette size. And then they also have 
this really pretty one as well. And then they have some local Nashville designers as well. So these earrings are from a girl in Nashville. And then Bobble Bar, you guys know I've talked about Bobble Bar before. I got stuff from them. And then over here is where they have their beauty feature. So they are working with Kula, Flamingo, Mary Kay, Isla Cosmetics, which I have their nail polish. They're located in Franklin and they're amazing. And then they also have this new brand. This is Jones Road and I've been really wanting to try it. So I might grab something from here. This is Ilia Beauty and I've done stuff with them and I absolutely love their stuff. I might grab their mascara though because that's the one thing I don't have from Ilia. But this is such a cool room and you can try out their makeup, take some home. And there also is this big mirror in here which I die over. So you can do try on hauls, trying on the clothes that are featured from the brands. And then last room, this is kind of like a filming room. They've got this little backdrop and then I guess some other clothes as well. Maybe these are H&M. Yeah, these are H&M as well. But they have these lights that you can carry around the house depending on what you're shooting. And this mirror, I'm gonna need to like honestly get one of these. This is a beauty mirror. The lighting is so good. I'm like, should I get one of these? Glamcore. Probably need one. All right, I just got home from Note House and I am honestly obsessed with that place. I'm gonna have to go back. I think a membership is $75 for a whole month and you can go as many times as you want or you can pay each time you visit, which is $25. And I feel like I probably wouldn't go that many times a month just because it is on the other side of town, but I would definitely pay like one or two times a month to go and just pull stuff from the closet because I got some really cool stuff from some brands I've never heard of before. And so now I'm gonna do a little haul of all the stuff that I picked up from Note House. I feel like it's a really cool place if you are new to influencing or you want to get into the influencer space because it really connects you with a ton of other influencers, a ton of brands. They have so many contacts with PR companies and brands and it just feels like a really good place to start. So I'm going to show you guys all the stuff that I picked out because I'm super pumped. Some of these are brands that I have worked with before that I just love their stuff and then most of the stuff is new that I've never tried before. The first thing that I got is the bag. I posted about this on my Instagram story. I asked you guys if I should get the black or the gray one and I ended up getting the black one because this just feels so classic. I love this little extra pocket. I think this is so fun. I don't even know what I would put in here. Maybe like my AirPods, but I really just like the utility look of this bag. It is a crossbody and it hits in a really good place even though I'm sure it's not super, super long. I love the length of this. This is from a brand called Oriani and I just really, really love this little baguette style. And then on the inside, I packed it with some makeup. It does come with a dust bag. So there's a dust bag and it was filled with stuff. And then, yeah, there's a big zipper pocket and then a little pocket on the front. So really cute bag though. I'm gonna style this up, but I really really like this bag. It was catching my eye. I think the black is classic I grabbed two things from Ilia Beauty because I don't have these and Ilia is one of my favorite makeup brands They are very natural looking, but I just love all their packaging and their products So I grabbed their limitless lash mascara, which I do not have I have a lot of stuff from Ilia, but I don't have this mascara So this kind of completes my I guess my collection of Ilia Beauty So I'll need to do some sort of full face real or something like that but this is the mascara and then this is what the brush looks like this is my first time seeing the brush i really really like this this looks like it's gonna separate my lashes really well there's actually two sides of the brushes there's one that's like super dividing i feel like for your lashes and then the other one looks like it would be good for coating them so Hopefully this mascara is really good. I love all their other products. So this really completes the collection. Plus their casing is so, so nice. And then the other thing that I grabbed from Ilia is their multi-stick. This is their kind of like lip and cheek color. And I have the shade Dreamer, but this is a different shade that I don't have. This is called Ladybird. And this one is a little bit more of a neutral than dreamer which is what i have this is a beautiful beautiful shade and i thought this would be a really really pretty blush shade and y'all know i've been obsessed with cream blushes lately and i already know that i love the other shade that i have so i'm gonna love that this is a new brand that they're carrying called jones road i've actually never heard of this brand until i visited note house and this is a really really cool brand i love their branding 
and I grabbed their mascara. They had a few other products, but the mascara really intrigued me because I'm always on the hunt for a good mascara with my short Asian lashes. So this is the packaging and they had one that was like a tester that you could open. I didn't put anything on obviously, but when I saw the brush of the tester, I was like, I have to try that. But this is the brush and I am so intrigued by this. It's like a curved brush and I feel like this is gonna give really, really good volume. So I'm super excited to test this one out. But really love discovering new brands and I feel like Note House has some really good ones. Okay, the next thing that I grabbed, this is from Dr. Bavor. This is a glow, pretty much like a glow serum. These little capsules and I actually have never tried this brand before so this is totally new to me. But I I am all for trying any sort of like glow product. So this is what they look like and it looks like you break off the top and then you use one a day. So those are filled with vitamin C and it's supposed to help with adding a glow to your skin. So I'm very intrigued by that. Next up is a moisturizer. I thought this brand was really interesting. I have not heard of this either. This is Beekman 1802 Bloom Cream. This is a probiotic moisturizer and I was more so drawn to this because of the packaging. I thought this was so interesting. I've never seen something like this before. This is, I believe, a clean beauty brand. And inside the box, there's like this adorable little pouch. This is what I thought was so interesting. And then you open this pouch up and this is what the cream looks like. It looks like a deodorant kind of, but then you take this top off and you pump out your cream so you don't get your hand in the jar kind of vibe. And I'm just really excited to try this out. I've never seen this brand before but I'm very intrigued. All right, last thing is from a brand called Fakai. This is a texturizing spray, and you guys know I am all into those texturizer sprays, and I am really excited to try this brand. I've never actually heard of this brand as well, so this is a totally new brand for me, and I'm really, really excited. This one is vegan and gluten-free, no nasty ingredients, and 100% recyclable packaging. So really, really intrigued to try this out, but those are all the things I got from note house now I'm gonna open up some boxes that I've gotten in the mail and one of them is actually from Vitruvi because the one that Mikkel got me during our gift exchange ended up like having a problem with the output of the humidity or the fog and so I sent them a DM and I was honestly devastated because I have been using that every single day since I got it and so when it stopped working I was like a little bit like ah, I really need this to work and they were super super kind and ended up just replacing it all together and I told them that I really wanted to get y'all a discount code if I could so they're working on getting me a discount code I'm sure by the time this video goes out I'll have one so check the description box for that discount code but I'm gonna open up this Vitruvi diffuser I think it's the same one but you guys gotta see it it's so beautiful so this is the stone diffuser in white and this is the same one that Mikkel got me so they just replaced the exact same one they make it in like a beautiful charcoal gray they make it in a terracotta color and I think they make it in blush as well but the white is just classic so that's what the box looks like though these are like the nicest things ever and they're so aesthetically pleasing and so beautiful and I'm so excited to have my diffuser working again I think it was just like a fluke that mine didn't work so inside the box you have the diffuser and I love the Vitruvi ones because they're this like beautiful like stone I don't know if you guys can even tell but there's like a rough texture to it it's just really really nice and then in the bottom under here there's a little info card and then there's a box with your cord it's basically like unboxing an Apple product, but you get your cord. And then the last box is from Supergoop, and I actually have no idea what this is. It was making a rattling noise, so I hope whatever's in it isn't broken. That would be really sad. I think I actually mentioned Supergoop earlier today, so it is funny that there's a box from them. Left-handed scissors? Maybe not a good idea. Okay. All right, what do we have? Looks like this is called the Daily Dose SPF 
40. It is a vitamin C and SPF serum that brightens the skin and protects it. Wait, that's amazing. Vitamin C is like my favorite skincare ingredient and this one has SPF and vitamin C. I'm into it. So what, okay, what an interesting package. So this is the actual product. This is the daily dose vitamin C and sunscreen. I'm so excited to try this out. I feel like if this is good, I'm gonna love it. Such an interesting package design. I've never seen a product shaped like this or packaged like this. It looks like a little bobber that you use to go fishing. And then also very randomly, what's in here? This is a glass bottle and then and they sent some super goop post-it notes, which is also so random, but interesting. And then they also sent like a ton of pins, like seven pins. So I don't know, hopefully these are good pins. I wonder if these are actually good. I do love, I love a good pen, but that is so funny that they sent over seven pens and sticky notes. Oh, that is a pretty good pen. Okay, cute. I'm actually really excited to use this though. I think that this stuff is super funny. Sometimes packages are like spot on and then sometimes I feel like they send the most random things ever, but the glass bottle, I'm so confused about. Okay, I just filmed a reel for Instagram of Rare Beauty, the blush and the lip gloss, so that's why I'm wearing a different sweater because I changed for the real so it didn't look like I filmed all of this in one day. I have been randomly very productive this week. I was not productive at all the first week of January. I actually like kind of hit a wall the first week of January. I feel like I always kind of feel that way around that first week because so many people I feel like take to the internet and they post all of their like goals and just like what they're working on and Personally, that kind of stresses me out because I can only do so much and whenever I feel like everyone else is doing so much stuff, I feel this pressure to keep up or just charge forward. And just last week, I was just not feeling it. So I actually took last week kind of as a chill week, but this week I've been feeling super motivated and I've made like multiple reels today and I have done the vlog and I've done other videos and I'm actually ahead on my filming schedule, which is pretty crazy because I'm never ahead. But I wanted to give you guys kind of an update on my first, I guess, wow, two weeks of January. We're already halfway through January. Whew. Basically when the new year rolled around, I didn't really have a ton of work goals or really just goals in general. I feel like in the past I've always had, you know, a huge long list of things that I wanted to accomplish in the next year. And more than anything, I feel like last year really taught me that circumstances change a lot and a lot of times goals can get shifted depending on, you know, all the circumstances that are going on. And so this year I tried to be really mindful about not really setting goals based on circumstances but more so setting goals that I feel like were more so like taking care of myself and eating well and exercising and just doing things that were more so in my control and it was kind of weird because in the past I've always known what I want to do and work I've always had a plan for the next year I'm in Enneagram 3 by the way shocker but I've always just kind of known what I wanted out of the year and this was the first year that the new year rolled around and I didn't really have many work goals. I think because last year just really blew me away. I really did not even think I was gonna make it to 50,000 subscribers by the end of last year. And y'all just, I guess, decided to join. And now we're at 83,000, which is crazy. And I don't know, I just feel like I got to the end of the year and was kind of like, not burnt out, but I was more so really wanting to focus this year on personal growth and our marriage and just my friendships. And so a lot of my goals were kind of revolving around my personal life and not so much work goals, but being a three and being, you know, someone who loves to work and loves their job and loves doing all the things. When the new year rolled around, I saw a bunch of people on Instagram and on YouTube just posting all their goals and all the stuff that they were already accomplishing in the first week of January. And I kind of felt a little bit down on myself because I just felt like I wasn't being my normal self, if that makes sense. Like past Chloe would have had so many goals and would have hustled the first week to make it like the most productive week of her life. But this year, 
was really low key and really relaxing honestly like a lot of people were like how's your work going and i honestly didn't have that much to update on because i've just been kind of taking it easy the last couple of weeks of january and it just feels a little bit odd i do feel like i'm in a really healthy place though like mentally i'm working out i'm eating well i'm sleeping so much more than i used to and jason and i have just been in a really good habit of like i said taking care of our bodies taking care of our minds and focusing on our friendships and our marriage and we just want to continue that in 2021 if you guys watched my 2020 review video you've probably heard this kind of briefly but i just wanted to let you guys know that i personally felt kind of down the first couple of weeks of january well the first week of january i felt just kind of in a slump and i don't know if y'all experienced that as well but i personally was just not feeling like my best i didn't feel like the new year rolled around and i was like ready to kill it out there in the world i I think I just was like kind of tired from 2020 and it caught up to me in like January. So if you also didn't feel super motivated when January 1st rolled around and you had like a slow start to the year, I feel like that's okay. A lot of times with like the internet, it can get so overwhelming to see everybody just like killing it the very first week of January. I am really excited for this year. Like I have a lot of hope for this year, but I don't have as many like solid goals this year. Anyway, if that makes sense, that is my first two weeks of the new year update. I am gonna change out of my sweats and out of this top because Jason and I are gonna go get some Mexican food and have a date night. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And be sure to pop over to my Instagram to check out my reels that I've been making. I'm very proud of them or you can find them on TikTok. TikTok I feel like is eh, it's so small right now like nobody cares about my TikTok but if you want to check out my Instagram I will link it down below but I will see you guys in my next video very very soon. Bye y'all!